do you want? If I had related differently and you would have gotten it when you were asking me for a decision, do you feel like the outcome would have been different? No, I still think it'd be the same. Hey guys, and welcome to Little Black Book. You know what time it is. We're talking to you guys about Ready to Love. We're dealing with Kyra, dealing with a, um, Jason. And this one we've titled it, Kyra is hurt because she played and lost. Love is a losing game. Oh, in this particular case, when you play love, love gonna play you. All right, let's keep it real and all the way 100%. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like, share, subscribe, click on the bell button for notification of what up lows and for those of you who are returnees you got the minerals you got the minerals uh, let's get into the video today listen stay hydrated as well grab your bottles down below as well stay hydrated because the streets are hot okay they are hot okay let me get a little sip and let's kick off the show all right cool so here's the thing here's the thing here's the thing here's the thing now, I've always said this. I said this about Adriana. I said this about um, Alexis from the first season as well. And I say this all the time. When you play games, ladies, when you play games, it creates um, problems. Because the opposite gender do not trust you when you play these games. Okay? When you play games, the opposite gender don't trust you. They enjoy it. But they don't trust you and they cannot entrust you when you overplay. Okay, it's almost like watching Spain play football or Arsenal playing football, passing, 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 but never shooting. When you overcomplicate the issue, people get turned off. Okay, and the reason why a lot of people play games is because they themselves are guarded. Game players are people who are emotionally guarded, that's why they're playing the game. Okay. Now, when you're exercising options, that's different. But when you're playing the game, you are trying to get the person to choose you. You want them to choose you, but you're not going to choose them. Kyra, Kyra can say what she wants, right? And I appreciate that. From what I've seen from the show, she weren't never choosing Jason and she ain't choosing AJ. Now, she would have chosen Jason at the end because at the end of the show. But she wanted to be chosen by the two men. That's the reason why she never made a choice. And that's very, very clear and very evident because she never made a choice throughout the whole entire show. When, was, when she was pressed and asked about her decision, she didn't choose Jason. Okay? She didn't choose Jason. And she definitely didn't choose AJ. And she still didn't choose AJ even when he said he wanted her to stay. And she was open and honest about that. And I rate that, right? She was open and honest about that. But the truth of the matter is this, you are playing the game. And when you play a game, here's what happens when you play a game. There's offense and defense. Okay? There's offense and defense when you're playing the game. And when you play the defense, what happens is you're emotionally guarded. Right? And sometimes the best defense is attack. So when these people are playing defense... OK, what they're trying to do is emotionally keep themselves from being hurt again. All right. And so that's what Kyra was doing with Jason. And unfortunately, Jason got tired and moved on because definitely she was first choice. Now, I know she made it very clear that, uh, you know, she chose Jason at number one, number one, number one. But what she didn't do was verbalize this enough to him to convince him that she was choosing him. He obviously wasn't con con he obviously wasn't convinced. And the reason why he wasn't convinced is because she never gave a convincing argument. It's that simple. Okay? Now, remember, Jason was looking for confirmation. He'd been looking for security. He'd been looking for promise. Kyra never gave him promise and never gave him security. Now, she may say she chose him first, right, when it says, who would you go home with? Yeah, 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 yeah. But that's not the security we're talking about. That's not the give me assurance, lifetime in short. You know, that was not the assurance. He didn't, he didn't get, he, she didn't give him that assurance. That's why he chose Liz. Because you were his number one. Okay, so if Kyra's watching this, listen, you never gave him assurance. And this is a lesson to learn. So that when you're now dating in real life, okay, you playing the game may be cute at first, but it's not giving a person assurance that you actually want them. Now, we understand when you're guarded because your heart, you don't want it to be broken again. Guard your heart by all means, but be open to the process. When you're doing this dance and flame, dance and dance thing, it's not necessary. I always tell you guys, P-E-W, okay? Position, expectation, wants. When you, when you feel that, okay, you're liking this person, you state your position. Hey, I like you. And here's my expectations. I want a relationship with you. If they then don't tell you yes, Kyra, 
and they're going, oh, I'm not really sure I want to build my empire or let's see how it goes. When as soon as you hear that, you say, oh, thank you very much. I appreciate that. And you bounce because it's not a yes. None of that divvy, 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 divvy. I'm trying to see where it's going. You know, right now I'm just trying to focus on my music or right now I'm trying to focus on building my empire. That's a no. Get out of there. Get out of there. It's just a games. Okay. Right. Let me, let me, let me, let me take you back a little bit. On the show as well, because there was a really interesting question that was asked by Amber. I want to hear this. No, I'm choosing AJ because I feel like Jason, like you said, I was the one playing the game. But based on our conversations and how it rolls out to me, it's like, well, were you the one playing the game? Did you know? And that's why Liz is smiling. Did you notice how she answered the question? Why are you choosing AJ? And her actual answer did not answer the question. Kyra, you didn't answer the question. It's a good lawyer's question. It's a good lawyer's answer, but you never answer the question. You don't want AJ, and you you wanted Jason more, right? But here's the thing: you weren't sold on Jason. This is the honest truth, I believe. Yeah, she may give a different answer. She wasn't sold on Jason. Something about Jason didn't make her feel emotionally safe that she wanted to feel, right? Something about Jason's energy didn't make her convincingly feel safe, okay? When she was on the live, she said that David made her emotionally feel safe, made her feel on her femininity. Jason didn't give her that. Evidently, I she would have chose him. He didn't give her that. So now when they're asking you the simple question, let's go back a little bit more. I want you to listen again. Listen. Jason was fair towards me. Since you are still bothered by it, are you really choosing AJ because you... No, I'm choosing AJ answer? because I feel... Pause. Now, what she said, no, I'm choosing AJ because I want you to pay attention because many people give answers like this, okay? When they, when they don't really want this guy or girl, they give this particular answer, which has got nothing to do with the person that they're actually dealing with, okay? And it's an absolute uh, uh, cover-up of what they really, really feel. Let's, let's, let's listen. Listen very carefully. Like, Jason, like you said, I was the one playing the game, but based on our conversations and how it rolls out to me, it's like... Now, how and that's why look look at Liz's face. Look at Liz. Look at Liz. Look at Liz. Look at Liz. She's smiling, baby. And the reason why is because how did you go from the reason why I chose AJ is because you see Jason was the one that was playing games and da 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 da. And I'm sure they cut it and she's probably gonna say after because Jason was playing games, I ended up choosing AJ. You didn't know he was playing games until you got to this point. And even so, that's still not a good answer because what you're actually saying is I only chose AJ because Jason was playing games and that's the one I really wanted. So AJ is a second choice. Now, you might say I always had them both in the same light, but come on, girl, you out here, you went to have a second conversation with Jason just to get clarity. That tells me you were really in deep with my brother. OK, you wanted him. It's OK. It's okay not to be okay. Sometimes it hurts. Oh, that note was off, but don't worry about that. Because sometimes it does hurt when you sing like that. <laughs> Whoo, let's not do that again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, and so, so her whole her whole ethos is about Jason playing a game. Let's play listen a bit more. Hey, well, were you the one playing a game? I was very much irritated with Kyra because she tried to attack Jason's character. Now, Jason doesn't need character check, uh, character being. It's, he lied. Sis, he lied. Liz, he lied. It's okay. You don't have to defend that. He lied. Okay? And he lied well. It's that simple. He lied and he lied well. Okay? <laughs> the, the main thing is that he lied. Uh, you know what I'm saying? But the, the reason why she's invest, why uh, Kyra's invested in that is because, again, she feels played. Because as a gamma woman, she wants a man to desire her. She thought she was playing the best game. And then she got played. And that's what hurts the most. That I was playing my game, you were doing your game, but I didn't realize you were running game on me. I didn't realize, you know, girl, I must warn you. You know, I, you, you didn't think he was going to do that to you. And that's what hurts the most. Please. From what he shared with me is that he needed to hear from Kyra herself where she stood because he felt that there was some things that happened between their relationship that was disingenuous. Now, in that clip there, obviously, we know that Jason was um, saying that he felt like Kyra was being disingenuous. Isn't it interesting that he thinks that Kyra's been disingenuous? She thinks he's been disingenuous. And here's why they think they, here's why they both think they've been disingenuous. Because they both liked each other and they were both playing the game. And he chose Liz because he knew Kyra wouldn't chose, choose him. 
And she got annoyed because he felt she felt like he took away her power to choose. They both were hurt because they felt like they were losing control. And, and when he made a decision, that took the control out of her hands. Jason played a game. He played a game. At the end of the day, he played the game. You know, I have to commend him for playing the game as he did. He played well. Because at the end of the day, Carol's playing a game. I got no beef with anybody playing the game. You played it well. Well done. She just played he just played it better than Kyra. Okay? So when you play games, you're gonna the reason why people play games is because they're guarded, okay? Alright? Because they're guarded. Okay. She did have Jason as a number one, okay, but never clearly expressed that. And the reason why again is because she didn't want to feel hurt. That was actually one of his complaints. One of his complaints about her was that she was guarded and that she wouldn't open up herself to him in the conversation all right he didn't want to open up she didn't want to open up and the reason why she want to open up is because again when she opens up she loses control you see when you open up you open emotionally to somebody it's about control if i give you this you're, i'm gonna make you it's gonna feel like i'm no longer in control of proceedings honestly Right, and 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 I'll we'll we'll go to the last part before we do go to the end of this. But I want I want to get a clip for you, where he asked her the question about um or told her about the fact that she doesn't be open. Um, where can we do it? Okay, 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 okay. Let's see, let's see. Jason and Kyra's date. Um, okay, here we go. Let's get this clip here. All right, where he talks about her being not very great at sharing her feelings. Let's let's put this here. Oh. Went a bit too far there. Let's care. Let's go here. Poor job at telling people how she feels. But at this point, I'm rolling with the punches. I made my decision. I feel very good with Liz. The connection's there, and it is what it is. So he lets her know that, listen, her her, her ability to let people know her feelings is, is rubbish. And, and that comes again from being emotionally guarded. And that comes from being hurt in the past. That comes from trauma. That comes from daddy, mummy issues. That comes from some boyfriend. That comes from, you know, a whole a bunch of different issues what can happen to someone to make them feel the way they do, right? And that's why um, I know that she was hurt by the game because she wanted to guard her emotions and have the choice at the end to choose and, 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 Unfortunately, she didn't get that choice. <clears throat> it got robbed from her, right? The game that she was playing ended before she could end the game. That's a control issue. And that is a, the reason why that control issue comes in, when you feel like you have one up on someone, it, it can happen like that. You see, how people react in, in, in competition is different, you know. Everyone has different reactions in competition. When it gets competition, you realize how people behave, their real side comes out, you know what I'm saying? That's untamed. The animalistic side of them comes out big time, right? And so you're going to see uh, 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 Kyra coming up with this last comment. Now, maybe it got cut. Maybe there was a edit that was in here, yeah? But this comment is mad. I hate that there was the discourse between you and I that allowed space for somebody else. I thought that Jason would be... Now, this part, obviously, before we get to the madness... She says, obviously, you know, I hate the fact that we've got uh, that, you know, we allowed this discourse um, to someone for someone to get in between us. But the truth is, sis, like you had the choice to choose him and you didn't. You actually had the ability to choose him. You didn't do it. So it's it's you, the only person that let someone else in is you. You had him by you had him by the boss. You had him. He would have chosen you. You can hear it. He admitted he lied about the list situation. You know, you're number one, but you fluffed it. And you have to be okay with that, right? Because part of Kyra is like, I want the good guy, but the trouble is, I'm used to a certain, I'm, a, I'm used to a certain packaged deal. It's not that she doesn't want a good guy; she wants a good guy in a packaged deal. It didn't come in a way that she could receive it. All right, he wasn't showing her the the qualities that she needed to say, "I'm going to choose you," and this is going to be me and you, right? He was lacking something. That's why she didn't choose him. She has to be honest with herself so that she can actually have a proper honest discourse and move forward, right? Sometimes we have to be honest with ourselves and tell the truth. Like, hey, my, my thought process was this X, Y, and Z, you know? And you're honest with yourself and you can move forward. Let's hear it. How things have gone thus far, my decision is for us to stay as friends. 
My decision is for us to stay as friends. Kyra, what? She said she didn't have a choice in this, baby. Baby? You didn't have a choice in this, baby. He really done told you he's going to choose Liz. So unless this is edited, Kyra, where are you getting that we are going to be friends? My decision is that we're going to stay as friends. Darling, we weren't anything more. I already chose Liz. Where you going, darling? Do you understand? So unless I'm missing some context here, sis, you just showed your hand. You wanted to win. <clears throat> You want to control, okay? Right? You want to control, and that's why it hurts the most. And the, the, the wickedest thing is this. She never saw it coming. And that's what hurts. You know, I always say this. The punch that you see, you can you can be ready for. The punch you don't see knocks you out. Look at this. Listen to this. AJ would be able to. And in this moment, I'm realizing that Jason is the one that I should have been questioning. I felt like I was nothing but 100%. So the punch that hurts the most is the one that she didn't realize was coming. She never saw Jason behaving badly. She never saw Jason being able to outplay her. She never saw Jason being able to outfox her. And now Jason is doing just that. And that hurts because she never saw it coming. It hurts because she never saw it coming. It stings. Right? Because it's the dating game. Remember, it's a dating game. There's strategy, there's winners, there's losers. And that creates motivations to try and win. It's all part of it. You know, it's all part of it. And that's why she admits in the end that it hurts. That's why she admitted, yes, in the end, this does hurt. The defeat stings. Just like any competitor, when you lose, it stings. You don't have ever to kind of brush out his water under the bridge. You know, I'm disappointed in it, and that's his decision, so I have to accept it. But it hurts. It hurts a little bit. Some things just not meant to be. It hurts, and that's all right, Kyra. Love sometimes is a losing game. Guys, want to leave it there. I've got a few more reviews that will come out tomorrow.